I'm Camila Blanc Bisney. I'm a CrossFit athlete. Um, I finished sixth last year at the um, CrossFit game, just finished second in the Open. I'm a full student. I study in chemical engineering, and I am a wife and a friend and all those other things too. When I was younger, um, I was doing gymnastic, and then I ripped my hips. And after that, I was trying to find this new challenge. So I play pretty much every sport that exists. Um, and I ended up doing rugby. And some of the, um, my teammates in rugby were doing CrossFit to uh, um, be in a better shape to play the sport. So um, they kind of introduced me to it. And uh, that was it. So when I was younger, I was a gymnast. And uh, everyone knows that uh, gymnastic is really hard on your body. Um, so all the kind of extension and then flexion and the movement, um, my left hip is a little more in front than the right one. So um, it was just slowly ripping the muscle out of my hip flexor. The, the truth is that it made me stop gymnastic. Um, I had the choice to get surgery or stop and let it heal. And I decided to stop because I think everything in life happened for a reason. Um, and then after that, I'm, I have too, I'm too driven to not do anything. So I um, was trying to find that new challenge. and. Uh, I guess uh, life found me, and uh, now I have this sport that I'm doing pretty good at. I think one of the reasons why my training are special is because I'm, I'm super open-minded, um, which means that I listen a lot when people give me cue, and um, I try a lot of stuff. Um, for example, I went to train uh, with only weightlifter for four months to really see how weightlifter lift and make sure I really um, kind of dive in into that place to really get myself better by being with the best. Um, at the same other stuff, I went to boxing club to know how to box with real boxer and not like people who do CrossFit and then try to box. Um, so I think I'm really open-minded with those things and I'm open-minded to, to like stuff like meditation and you know, in my head, whatever might work for me, it's it worth the shot to try it and then kind of take from that um, what really helped me and it goes same thing with product like if you tell me it worked I'll try it if it worked yeah I keep I'll keep it if it doesn't I'll try other stuff so I try to eat really clean um, and then I just um, add supplement to that so I do have my extreme endurance every morning and night it's like part of my routine because um, I just love the product and uh, I have a uh, um, BSN with me, so my scent to six after workout and BCAA, and um, that's pretty much all I take, fish oil too, here and there. Um, for fitness and nutrition, my advice um, to start with fitness, it would be really more of like let your ego at the door every day, um, because I feel like people, especially in CrossFit, always try to go to that intensity component way too quick and then end up having a lot of capacity with poor technique and just think it's okay, but it's not. You're going to get injured and then you're just going to have to stop or not be able to move forward. So for me, because I know that's the way I train, I let my ego at the door every day and if, you know, my snatch don't work out, then I work on the technique. And then if you have that technique dialed in, you're super efficient, you're only going to get um, a better athlete and then you just get better. So. That's really a thing that you need to do every day. Let the intensity a little bit on the side, work on your technique, and then bring the intensity back in, and you'll, you'll be way, way, way better, like day and night. Um, and for the nutrition, I think people like, should not get as crazy as they are about it. Um, it's good to cheat once in a while. Like I think living your life is more important than being crazy about your nutrition. Um, but super simple stuff like eat clean and just have like good supplements. You don't need to have really more than that. I think it's really hard to get people at first into CrossFit um, just because it's unknown and uh, it's getting more and more known. But everyone is are scared of the unknown. Um, so I think that's kind of the first part that you need to break. Um, if I can have you come into my gym and try one time, then you'll understand that it's really for everyone. I mean, we're doing functional movement at a high intensity. So we start with movement that are pretty much rehab for most of the population, um, which mean like simply um, teaching you how to squat, which is similar to sitting down and standing up. So we start with the basic movement because most of people um, 
kind of lost the ability to move over time because they are only sitting at the desk or doing those things. So it's, it's almost rehab to start with. And then we had this component of intensity. Um, so I think that's what this new person that needs, um, needs to know before like anything else. And it's not like me at the CrossFit game with my hand totally open and yelling to lift weight. Like that's, that's not true. Like that's just, you know, that's me more doing the sport of fitness but CrossFit is just really for everyone and try to um, make you healthy, obviously. Um, but those people that, you know, if you're lazy or you don't want to do anything, the truth is that as long as you start moving, it's better than doing nothing. And uh, of course, I'm a fan of CrossFit, but like anything you would do is better than nothing. And then after that, if you implement that with a really good program like CrossFit and really good coach to come help you, then obviously the results are just gonna get way faster. For people who don't have time, seriously, like some of um, the workout in the gym, you can be done in three minutes. So um, it's kind of a, not a, a good excuse. And I think um, a lot of people are ready to make time for themselves to watch TV at night. They don't have time, but they still have that one hour of TV at night. Um, so I think that you can just change that for a workout. And um, I think it's just re, re-looking at your priority in life, and then you can totally fit that in at any time. The, the beauty about CrossFit is that because it's functional movement, you can do it everywhere at pretty much any time. You know, like if you're at your job, like at, at your lunch break, you can still like put like your shirt on or whatever, just go outside and you can like do 400 meter run or the block of running and then some squat and do that four time and you just did it. like. You're done and you had time instead of maybe just, you know, sitting down and eating. You just took half of your dinner and went to do lunch, I mean, and went to do that. So um, I think it's just the priority and it's only like, it can be three minutes a day. That's the beauty of it. So we have a lot of older clients and um, the truth is that they are at this moment in their life where they lost the ability to move and they know that they're starting to lose their independence in life. And uh, with a lot of them, what we saw is that it seems like they just, like after a year, they look like they're 10 years younger. Because uh, like I said, we like give you kind of back that rehab because it's functional movement. So you learn to move again. And obviously, you keep your independence in life longer. So um, I think it's almost the older you get, the more you need it. So normally, like if you come here and you, um, you try for the first time, most of the time, they, they have those um, um, on-ramp class. So you get introduced in kind of a small group that everyone is new. Um, so I guess the first advice would be like, don't be scared, because we make you so comfy that like, being anxious before and all those things, like it's just gonna keep you from coming. Cause once you're here, like those small group, like everyone introduced themselves together and normally the coach is, it's fun. And like, I'll teach all of you guys to do the squat together. So you're not the only one who is beginner, but like everyone, you all go with this process of kind of relearning how to move with everyone. So it's, it's not um, anything scary and we're not kind of throwing you to the lion because we teach you how to move and then we'll do a little workout. So you're not gonna come in the gym and I'm gonna make you do a triathlon. Like we start kind of a little slower and then we're just gonna implement as, um, as better as you get. Um, a mistake for like the new one is not letting their ego at the door and coming in and seeing me train and just thinking that they can do that the first time. Because obviously when you see um, the game athlete at the game like, oh, it look easy because we make it look easy and it's really hard inside, but this, it just doesn't show it as much. Um, so that's a big mistake of thinking that you can do a lot of volume when you start, a lot of weight and just go really fast. Like you're just gonna hit a wall and uh, you're gonna stay on your butt for a little, but uh, yeah. How is it going to make you feel when you start? We kind of add that, I feel like it's like one and three month rule. So after one month, you're gonna come back to the gym and be like, oh my God, I couldn't do that when I start. And now you're doing like 10, 20, and you have this, oh my God moment after kind of a month. And after three months, you're addicted. 
and then like you annoy everyone around you because you need to tell everyone like what you did and how good you're getting and how fun that is. And those are like the one in three month thing. Um, what I saw the most with people is their posture change a lot. Because now they have, so here's like how I see a little CrossFit workout. It's kind of a little challenge. Every day that you have, you have this little challenge and you're going to conquer this challenge with some people. We are the people with your group. And with those people, you're going to every day like conquer something. So every day you have something to be proud about. And that's extremely powerful for the spirit. So every day you're proud about something. So what I see with most of people is that they start talking with their chest way more upright and now they have something to be proud about in life and you know you go back home and you know that at least at one point today you did the right thing. And um, I think for mentally that's super powerful. And then the good byproduct of that is physically, especially with the girl, we see them like when they start training they have their, those clothes that are a little bit maybe more baggy and black. And then more the year go, then you see them coming with the short and then with the boogie short. And the next thing you know, they are like in a sport bra and really proud of showing off like their abs that they never saw in their life and all those things. So um, physically, obviously, you, I feel like physically people just became the best version of their self that they can be. And mentally, you just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You kind of almost need to do it to understand. But you have this feeling of accomplishment. So when it gets tough, I just tell myself that I'm okay. Like, um, I think one of the things that makes me so interested to cross it is finding that limit of our body and our soul. And when it gets tough, like, what tells you that you can do it? Your own self. Um, so I just try to shut that little voice, that negative voice in my head down and let's see if I can really not do it or do it. So then you just push through that, and sometimes my muscle just gonna like break down. I'm just, oh, okay, I fall on my butt. I couldn't do it anymore, but now it's not mentally, but really physically that that was my limitation of that day. Um, and that's the part of where you have this feeling of accomplishment, is getting maybe just one more rep higher than when you have this moment that they're like, holy shit, what am I doing? And then, you do that one more rep, and then the next time you do two or three, and then you learn how to stay calm when you do it, and then just cruise through that pain. Um, but it's like, it's like so freaking spiritual, this whole thing of like really being okay with the pain, and you gain that confidence with your ability, your physical ability, and uh, I guess that's a big journey to, uh, to push through that pain and learn how to do it. At first, I, when I started CrossFit, like gearwise, I didn't have any money, so I was a student. Um, I'm still a student, though. Um, so I would show up with like holes in my shoes and be like, just not know like what a difference it can make. Um, but it can really make a big difference to have the right gear, and it can be as much as staying safe, especially, or as much as just giving you that little extra help. Um, same if sometimes people like it's just mentally that it helps them, like it's so help you. Um, but for weightlifting, there's a lot of things that can make sure that like your back stays straight or safer with like those bell, knee sleeve for your knee, just add that. Um, for me, it's just that extra safety. If I do one rep that is not in perfect technique, like for example, if I have my knee sleeve, like I know that my knee are gonna not go out and back in because it's gonna still have this little protection, so. Um, I think it's like super important. It's part of it now since we do so much volume. If you don't have the, the right gear to start CrossFit, you can go to Watch Up and it's only one stop and then you have all you need. If you've been doing CrossFit for a long time, I mean normally you get more, you start being more specialized and being better at it. And again, like you can start wanting to have a belt or maybe have better supplement for yourself and same thing, you can go to Watch Up and just have everything you need done there. So for kids, think about this, like kids that just want to play and here we're just teaching them how to move. So what most people lost in time is their ability to move. So obviously if you teach kids younger how to not lose this ability to move, they just keep their independence longer and just get stronger too. So, And then we're going to create a little machine on our next generation and that's going to be cool to see. 
People inspire me super cheesy, but my parents. Um, my dad worked for two jobs to make sure that he could uh, prevent for me and my sister and brother, we're four kids, um, while doing triathlon and marathon. So um, show me the hard work and my mom show me the patience. <laughs> so both of them together are pretty much uh, the mix of um, what make me who I am right now. Everyone wants to look good naked, so just write this new challenge and seriously, like your body's gonna change quick and you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have the result that you want for real. So come take the challenge. Come take the challenge. For the past three years, I've ranked in the top 10 at the CrossFit game, which means that I'm the best uh, female in the world. Is that okay? Well, that was not okay. She got it, you got oh, I gotta keep yeah, looking there. All right. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> Try it again. Um. For the past three years, I've finished as one of the top 10 fittest women in the world. Um, so right before turning 16, I was doing gymnastics and I ripped my hips. Um, and I just decided to change sport and just try to find a new challenge. So not giving up, but moving forward to, uh, towards a new challenge. What helped me coming back is just me being driven and I guess the support of my family and I had to do something. You're not, not going to do anything because something went wrong. Proper technique is pretty much the basic. It's super important to make sure that you not get injured, you're safe and you're as efficient as you can be so you can be the better version of your own self. But obviously to complement that, having the right equipment goes in the same um, type of idea. So. Having uh, the right equipment is gonna, that's too long. No, he, he came to the shop. Oh, Cody. Try it again. So obviously technique is like super important for what you do um, to make sure that you're safe and you get as efficient as you can. Um, at the same time, it's gonna allow you to be uh, the best version of yourself um, in your training and in your fitness. Uh, to complement that, obviously having the right equipment and gear to um, follow up with that is gonna give you the same benefit like I said, being safer and again, more efficient. So being able to um, maybe recover faster and at the same time, making sure that all those muscles are super safe to um, bring you to the next level of your fitness. So for gear, um, there's a lot of things that I love to use. Obviously, I love weightlifting. So um, I really like wearing belt to make sure that my spine is um, stable. I love wearing knee sleeve just to make sure that I have that extra support of my knee in case I move a little wrong for one movement. I know I'm safe. Um, I like weightlifting shoes because they make you stay back more on your heel. Um, other than that, I like wrist strap because they keep your wrists more neutral if I have a lot of rep to do overhead. Um, I love using strap because it's a crazy good tools for all the pulling that you do in weightlifting to really make you feel the right position. I use tape a lot because obviously no one likes tearing and when you tear you want to be able to keep moving so um, taping my hand or maybe using uh, rug tape for another extra support. Um, I use BSN as supplement to recover faster and give me that extra protein that I need and that I might not want to eat when I train because I'm uh, you know, kind of disgust about food when I'm done training. So I like drinking something like that. It's easy protein and gets in fast. Um, and I use extreme endurance all the time because um, it's just a really good supplement. Push your limit a little further out. I've been to the game three times. And one of the reasons why is just because every day I push my limit as hard as I can. And I attack every day as a new challenge and as an opportunity um, to get better in something. All right, so I've been to the game three times, um, but for me, it was never about getting to the game. It's because every time I go in the gym, I try to put, push my limit a little further. And like I said, I really want to find that um, human limit of what's our ability in fitness. So every day is like everyone else. It's a new challenge, and I need to push really, really hard. Um, try to go into that dark place and kind of feel comfy there, so if it's almost impossible. But every time I do it, I'm really proud. So um, I think it's not easy for everyone. So if we're maybe a little bit more at the top, I guess it's as hard for me as it is for everyone, because I know I'll have to do either more rep or more, more weight, um, and just need to show the example. Every day is just 
a big challenge. Same for me as anyone else. Every day I need to attack my training really hard. So come take the challenge with me at watchup.com and learn about the 10 biggest tips and tricks of all my secrets on how to be a better athlete. Come take the challenge with me at watchup.com and learn about my 10 biggest secret on how to take your fitness to the new level and become a better athlete. One stop watch up, watchup.com. Watchup.com is your one stop watch up. Hi, my name is Camille leblanc Bezonet and I'm a watch up athlete. My name is Camille leblanc Bezonet and I represent watch up. <laughs> Go to watchup.com for all your fitness needs. Come take the challenge at watchup.com.